Hello everybody and welcome back to season three of the Crappie Chronicles. My name is Adam Bartusik, and if you're new here or even if you've been here for a while, go smash that subscribe button, turn on those notifications. We're gonna have a great year. But if you are new here in this series, we are fully dedicated to catching the biggest crappie ever caught on film somewhere across the ice belt. Been here for a bit. Hope you caught what I did there. Now it is December 7th. I am running late per usual and I have got to go meet up with uh, our good friend Adam Griffith. And don't worry, Waldo and Pinkala will be there too. But I need to get on the road. If you're holiday shopping and looking for some Chronicles merch, it's currently on sale in the store. But we're going to move on from that. I need to get on the road. We've got a journey that we are excited to take part in. Let's have some fun. <music> Quick pit stop. Need some manners. So, got to grab a cooler, and I got to meet up with Griff anyway. So, we got to go into good old Thorn Brothers. And then we get to really hit the road. I also need to introduce you to someone else. So, here we are. All right, got to introduce you to someone, then we'll go inside. This is our boy Luke. What's going, going on, on everybody? everybody? Luke, how are we doing? Perfect, Luke. We'll be helping with all of our camera stuff this year. And if he's lucky, he might get to catch a big crappie or two, right? Yes, sir. All right, so here we go. We're gonna go around inside, and now uh, I guess this is where I kind of hand over the responsibilities. And he will be helping us out, but let's go in and get some minners. Hey. Thorn's busy. Especially when you're not a third. We need minutes. We need what? We need minutes. I know, right? You want me to help or you? You ready to go, yeah? Oh, yeah. Her, right? Yeah, we can probably. probably take care of her. Now that Bart's finally here. How late was I? An hour. And a half. <laughs> See, I was, I was short change. I was giving him the benefit of the doubt. <laughs> okay, so step number one of our Thurman Brothers stop is we need a little bit of minnows. Um, we don't use live bait very much. If you've watched this series for a long time, you know that. We do have one particular destination we'll be heading to where I think it might be beneficial. So we're just getting a little bit. We're going there tomorrow anyways, so it'll work. And other than that... That's probably good, then. Yeah, that's funny. Um, other than that, we need like two things. So we're going to go get that done. And we're going to get out of here. But, oh, we also got to show you, we have new rods. So like last year... Chronicle series, but they're updated. We got Griff's Chronicle, we got Waldo's Chronicle, Bart's Chronicle, Pink's Chronicle. So a whole new line, we'll talk to you about all of them as we start catching fish, but they are available now at Thorn Brothers and Griff did make the first schoolie reel, or rod, and you can get a schoolie for it. It's gonna be sick, but let's get moving. Okay, so we need, all right, we're in the good old clam aisle. We have all the jigs we could ever need except for I was not able to get more white age. So we're gonna grab some of these. These are gonna be useful tomorrow. And I know that for a fact. I'll get one more because Waldo will break it off or steal it from me. And see if we need any other goodies. Okay, almost done. I got my jigs. And if you're looking for our rods, they're right up front. I gotta grab one more for Waldo, so. We need that one for Mr. Waldron. So. There you go, Waldo. I got it for you. Awesome. Thanks, Ben. Perfect. I'll wait to see you on TV. Thank you, man. Hopefully we can do it. You will. <laughs> That's the time of year. We got him. That's what helps. <laughs> All right. Perfect. Thank you. All right. Let's go do the dang thing. We begin deep in the north woods, in the heart of cabin country USA, in an area of lakes frozen in time, lost from the development of civilization. Hidden beneath a blanket of towering pines and nestled between hundreds of miles of logging roads is an area of Minnesota littered with trophy crappie potential. We call this place 
the Golden Triangle, named for its location near the massive watersheds of Cass, Winnie, and Leech Lakes, and also for the unmistakable color of the fish that swim here. But lastly, and most importantly, for its reputation of producing the craziest sunset bites you will ever see. Pig. Oh yeah, oh, baby. baby, look at that pig. Boom, let's go, that's a mule. And that was, I mean, that was probably the most crazy 30 minutes band we've ever documented. Dude, that was way crazy. You want to give an update or anything? Yeah, my blood isn't thick enough for this cold stuff yet. It's two degrees. I'm freezing my balls off. Yes, I know I don't have a jacket on. You hear my mouth stutter there? <laughs> <laughs> you know, these Polarises are so fuel efficient. Never have to fill them up. Or they just give them to you full, I guess. Waldo here, checking in. We got Pink Hall, the chef, right over there. We're at Walmart right now getting some food for this weekend. And uh, like most Walmarts, they never uh, disappoint. Saw someone, you know, took their cat for a nice Walmart run. You know, that's a pretty normal thing. Pretty standard. Pretty yeah, standard. pretty pretty standard. So now we're just. Uh, now we're just doing a little shopping, looking for some food for the weekend. Pink's got some pretty crazy recipes that he's starting to do, so definitely uh, stay tuned here, but we'll give you an update if anything else weird or crazy happens, because so far... It's about to get Walmarty. Oh yeah, Pine City Walmart's just lit. <laughs> So as this series has evolved, uh, you know, we're trying to figure out new angles to pursue this from um, and just kind of different facets of what it means to chase these giant crappies. So with season three, we are going to be doing a whole lot of traveling. And now what we want to do is show you, you can catch these fish in your backyard too. It seems like there are other areas of the state, especially throughout the process of shooting this series that, you know, people talk about or people don't talk about that uh, we think could <laughs> really be lights out. And they're places that maybe are a little under the radar uh, as far as giant panfish. But this year has a really cool style to it because we're going to new places, places that none of us have ever really been. And we're gonna be doing a lot of traveling to get to these places. You know, some might call them destination or once in a lifetime fishing trips. So we're gonna be traveling, whether it's Northern Minnesota, whether we're going to other states, whether we're going, I don't know, we'll be going everywhere. We're gonna be going to trophy destinations, chasing these fish that we've wanted to put on camera forever. And I feel like it's time to just be like, let's move to crappie meccas around the ice belt. And and we'll just go there and we'll show people, hey, this is what's here and come get it. So where we're staying at here is honestly a super cool area of the state. I mean, we're kind of in this, this region between, you know, Cass, Winnie and uh, Leech that just has an insane amount of water. Like you look at a map of this area and it absolutely bends your mind to just see how many options there would be to go out and, and go on all these different lakes. There's a multitude of big crappie hotspots around the state, but this is one that they're, they're just really gorgeous gold fish that are huge. This area uh, is just known to have big ones. I mean, it, it's a part of the state that really sets up a lot different. I mean, this is the North Woods. This doesn't look like a lot of other places. Here, you're in the middle of the forest. I mean, it, you're straight up in the middle of nowhere. Every lake you go to, you start drilling holes and you feel like you're the first person who's been there all year. It's kind of the little golden triangle area, right, in between all three of these big water bodies, so. Even though we're in different uh, regions, a lot of, it's a crappie, so they act 
generally the same all over the place, but it's just finding them, doing the research, putting in the time, and then going and actually executing. Hello everybody, obviously we are now on the lake, um, just in the middle of a forest somewhere, and uh, I think the guys, so total honesty, Luke and I were setting up cameras and getting ready, Pink, Waldo, and Griff took the machines, went and grabbed uh, the good old Mega Live, and just went and drilled around the basin, found a corner that looks to have some fish in it, and now the key is, use forward facing sonar as a tool, now we grab our vexes, we're gonna go catch some, hopefully. We'll see how that goes, but breaking everything out. Pink hasn't even tied up lines yet, so that's that's currently happening, but we're ready to get after it. All right, I'm just rigging up some stuff. I didn't have anything ready to go, but I pretty much already knew what I was doing. I'm just going to go with like a motor oil Mackie and a black drop kick just to start things off. Probably that and a pinhead. I think I'm only going to tie up like two rods for this and just go after them. I'm hoping these fish are mega aggressive so we can just drop big stuff on them, but... We'll see. That motor oil color should be premium, but I'm sure we'll mess around with like dark and light. So just going with that for now. Nice little bug profile. See if we can get them going. Oh, maybe we saw the only five. <laughs> the bottom right here. Yeah. Right next to us. Going under this hole right now. Something get down. Good. Oh, oh, there we go. Yep. Right kind. Right kind. We, found, right. Crappies. we yeah. found crappies. Look at how thick that is. It's built, dude. Get down there. There was like five. First one of the freaking season. That a boy, Pinky. That's what I'm talking about. That thing was flying up. Well, it seems only right we harvest that one, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. We, we do need a few. We need a few, and that's a perfect size. So. Bye bye. Well, we've just been bouncing around like we honestly burned probably an hour already and really didn't get on them we marked some high flyers with the uh, mega live but we finally came to like the total other end of the lake we got on one little area we popped a couple holes seen a couple right on bottom and uh they're just really spooky i mean honestly we drilled a hole they left and then they just circled back and came right through the hole i was able to drop down and that one just came flying off the bottom and choked it Sounds like the boys just found some more. So we're gonna see what happens. I mean, we're gonna we're gonna keep some. So that's just a nice like probably 10 incher. We're gonna see if we can get on a pile of them. But if we get these right fish, I think they're gonna eat. Cause the ones we saw earlier were like not aggressive at all. And those ones just came flying up off the bottom. God, it's nice hat. Oh. Oof. Hey. Hey, hey, someone, someone. Okay, do you want me to get down? Yeah. Yeah, this way. We finally got them to go under this hole. They're really big. Dude. When you get like halfway down, they come up. Okay. That's a fatty mark, dude. Here we go. Oh my came up he came up he came up pretty high for it. Oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> Feel good? 
Oh, it's gonna be easy. It seems good. I'm gonna try to get some of the slush out. I got the waterproof gloves on. Okay. You wanna move the unit ahead? Oh, yeah. Oh, God, dude. First that's stud a unit. in the year. <laughs> dude, that's a two pounder. Look how thick it is. <laughs> Look at the back of that fish. There we go. That's giant. There was more. Get the transducer back in. There was like three of them. All right. Look at how wide the body is on that fish. Look at that. <laughs> That is oh, dude, a there's another, one. there's another one down. We got this absolute bomb of a crappie. Huge back on it. We're gonna weigh it quick just to see. Uh, we've been doing this more because it really shows the size difference across the state of uh, how big crappies actually can be. And that oh, yeah. one, 194. That's locking in at 199. 199, baby. 199, I don't know if you can Dang see that. Dang near a two pounder. Now let's see what, uh, but this thing is abnormally thick. Like yeah. that is a freak. Well, now let's see. Oh. 14 and a quarter. 14 and a quarter. And it's dang near a two pounder. That is stinking awesome, baby. Sick fish, dude. Okay, we're gonna release them. This fish should release real nice. Oh, well, look at that, gone. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, that is perfect. Oh. Apparently they're gonna smoke a pinhead. It seems like everywhere we've gone in this state, they've absolutely clobbered a pinhead, so. We're gonna get after. Um, we're gonna keep ripping a couple holes because there's the further we get on this inside turn, it seems like there's more and more schools of fish. So we're gonna keep moving around and see if we can't get a couple more units. Yeah, I think it's gonna pay to keep finding them though because the ones that were like inactive, we we're just wasting our time. These ones we got on them and dropped down, and they just came racing up and choked it. So we just need to keep finding fish that want to bite. Yep. I think you want to just point me whatever direction. They were, they were all oh, just, like, oh, just nobody moved. Nobody moved. Okay, they're right here. They're like five feet away, so. Seriously? Yeah, they were, yeah, they were like right, right there. Ooh, like this so one's big, though. Yeah. Hold that. Probably Let's go, Brett. Come on. That's a big one, too. You grabbing it? Yeah, I'll get her. Oh yeah. Ooh, there you go, buddy. <laughs> there you go, baby. Uh, yeah. Boom. Well, Waldo just banged that big one out of here. What was it, 199? And uh, I was over there putting a pinhead on. I came back. Pink was like, we're gonna direct us, see where they went. And uh, they were right here. Dropped back down there and immediately came in and throttled it. Look at the lateral line on that thing. It's like raised. Seriously, it is. That thing's insane. Look how tall it is. How long we got on this one, boss? This one's probably gonna go, I bet. Uh, 14, 13. Jeez. 13? 13 and three quarter. Just a beef. beef. Yeah. <laughs> Just, um, yeah, so we're on the other side of the lake. We're gonna get this one back. Bye. And uh, yeah, it was, I mean, garbage over there. Like we found some fish. I don't honestly think they were crappies after finding, finding what we found over here. Um, we're finding them, they're just riding the bottom. They're like probably a foot off the bottom, just cruising. And I think what we're gonna do is we're, we're kind of gonna hunker down in this area, drill maybe another 20 holes, if that, and maybe just hunker down and, cause they keep coming back to this area. So, I mean, we might as well just, they want something here. So might as well hang out here and see what we can do. I got them under me right now. No. No. Big old bluegill. Look at the freaking forehead on this guy. What a crazy looking gill. Not too bad. No, it's a another one on the pinhead. We were using the Mackie Mackie drop kick. We got one on it, and then they wouldn't touch it. They'd come look, so we switched to that. Um, yeah, you can see the results. Pretty nice on there. 
We'll let that guy go. Nice little friggin' dink. Just small enough to get my heart racing. Freaking unit! Oh my God! Oh, look at that! Dude, look at this wall, though. Build on those is just dumb. That is stupid. Well, that's two for sure. I'd say it's two two. That might be. Here, Griff, we're gonna switch spots. Holy balls! That's a, that's a fifth. That might be a. Is that a sixteen? Fifteen right on the nuts. Fifteen on the nuts. Pinch tail. Two two seven. Two and a quarter. Yeah. Yep, talk to me. Yeah, we're so gonna I just go. got this absolute unit. We're gonna let her go here. Bye. Um Yeah, so I was using Waldo's rod. Um we shortened it up this year, uh what, to 32 inches. And uh so yeah, if you want to come into Thorn and uh get yourself one, they're there now. Um you can order one online as well. Um so yeah, on the 21st of December we'll be there. We're gonna have a meetup. And if you're looking for some last minute holiday gifts, stop in because we're going to have a pretty big sale. So stop in and get yourself some stuff. And uh, yeah, I'm going to get back down there. And I, this is nuts. <laughs> These fish are crazy, dude. Okay, so it is about 3.15 now. Uh, middle of the day was really good, obviously. We caught some very big fish. And by we, I mean uh, everybody besides me. But uh, we were just sitting on the edge of an inside turn. They're roaming the mud and they were really active, but the bite's really slowed in about the last hour. And we're getting towards that twilight and we know we're probably gonna hang out in this area to catch some more big ones as the sun sets. However, we are running into a problem and that problem is we have not caught any eaters besides one for Pinkala to cook and we need dinner tonight. So we're going on a little scouting mission in hopes of running into some eater sized fish before we catch these big ones as the sun sets. Right there. How far? They're like, four, like 45. You're damn near on them. I am on them. Awesome. Look at that thing. Knife, that was awesome. Dude, we popped those on the live. They were like 40 feet out. Drift, drift drilled right on them. They didn't even move. Look at the head on that thing. That's a blimp. You got the bump board, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Heck yeah, that was awesome. That was sick. We've seen two of them, and I dropped down there, and 
I couldn't see my jig and I had to clean, I had snow on my transducer. So I cleaned it off and my jig was actually below the fish. I just lifted it above him and he came unglued on it. 196. Oops. Sorry, 191. Well, we were at 623 for three crappies. And we didn't even waste some of the other know, ones. Right? <laughs> you just got yeah, that's a cool fish. Yeah, we just kind of expanded our range because we kind of found that they were, there were still some there, but we were just not seeing the bigger ones. So we just started making a little, let it go here. And uh, we just expanded the area. Um, we wouldn't check another area, nothing. We came back and then we just like made our grid bigger and found them right away. And we sniped those two, that one. That was sick. Yeah, pink, pink quarterbacked me right to that one, dropped down, they didn't move. Just nailed it, it was sweet. Now. Giant. Wow, that was sick. That it might be a pike. I mean, he came screaming in. That's a walleye. Is that what it is? <laughs> Would you like to eat a walleye? Because we got one for you. <laughs> That is crazy. He came flying in. Well, I thought that was my crappie. Not quite. Okay. Evidently it is it is dark right now, obviously. Um, what we thought was gonna be a really great sunset and night bite, really the scattered fish we had and everything just dwindled down. So what we saw in this lake was just some giant fish roaming mud on an inside corner. We would uh, kind of use the live to find this area and then really we, for the most part, just put it away and uh, whole hopped with our vexes and really dialed them in. Sharp shot a couple fish, that was pretty cool, but for the most part, they didn't really like us walking on them. But Great start to the season, great start to the series. However, we totally failed on our goal to get eaters for pink. So we're not gonna have any cooking tonight because we don't have any fish to eat. So we're gonna pack up here. This might be the end of the episode. If it is, thank you so much for watching and please subscribe and uh, come on back because for episode two, we're gonna head over to uh, Gosh Dam and have a little bit of food and have a good time. So the journey continues and the trip continues. Let's have some fun.